Well guys, we left New Mexico successful. We ended up killing two antelope. Uh, they were both about an hour and a half apart from each other. So we'll kind of dive into a couple spot and stocks that we made. It took the majority of the day to kill the first one. We kind of bumped them around a little bit, made some stocks on them. They tried to stay in the center of this five, 600 acre piece. They were really smart, but um, we'll kind of take you guys through that. Mine ended up coming about an hour and a half after Will ended up killing his. It was a much quicker hunt than I would have liked, but we ended up getting the job done. So we'll kind of take you guys there and show you guys what happened. All right, guys, get in the wallet. We're gonna grab, uh, grab a few things. I'm gonna go purchase my tag online, make sure we're good to go there and then we are headed out the sun's kind of starting to come up just got done drinking some coffee and some breakfast and uh yeah gonna grab this tag and then we're on our way see if we can't get into some antelope Morning one here in New Mexico. We got Will up to shoot first. We're heading out to see if we can find us a group. Hopefully we'll put one down. We're rolling out. We found some a thousand yards away, so we're gonna get the truck and head on over to the next road and see if we can get get on them a little closer. What the hell? Yeah. Okay. You drive that. You guys come in the Ford, I'm guessing. Uh -huh. We must just be just behind one. The thing you got to think about is the sun, because so it'll reflect off that door and it'll be like a. Should I stay in the thing? Just kind of slip out. Stay in. Okay. What I'm gonna do? What I'd recommend is I'm gonna go ahead and run set. They'll go right. Okay. If I can put the turban between us and them, it'll we'll pull the pants down. Well, it seems like he's gonna do the opposite. Yeah, I mean they are just right, right out there on that edge line. Going away from us. 
It's coming right at us. The hot. Just keep reading me right Yeah, just keep keep reading me ranges and I'll use my brain. He's walking back away now. So as we talked about it in the beginning of the video, if you bump these antelope, they'll they'll go to the next county over. So we're trying to be really, really careful on how we approach this buck that Will ends up killing. And after making five or six different stalks on this buck, we ended up successful, but it took, I mean, going from all different angles to try to get this, this buck. With that many eyes, you know, you've got all these antelope there. So with that many eyes, it's really, really hard to get close to them without spooking one. One or the other usually will pick you up and I mean, like I said, once they pick you up, they're they're gone. They're gonna they're gonna book it, especially if you're on feet, which we were. So there toward the end of the stock, we end up coming up over this high point and getting on the other side of it closer to where the antelope are. They're about seven, eight hundred yards away from us. So we wait there for about 45 minutes to an hour, and all of a sudden they start kind of heading our way. They get about 100 yards closer to us. They get about 200 yards closer to us. And then all of a sudden, I mean, they make a sprint and they're headed straight our direction. It came up on us so quickly that Will ended up having to make a couple shots that were a lot quicker, I'm sure, than he would have liked to. But he ended up getting the job done, getting this antelope. We were able to recover him. We ended up having to put one more shot on him. Super, super tough goat. Um, he just would not go down. Where's the buck? Just put it on, okay? Don't aim high, don't do nothing. All right, you ready for him to stop? Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Good job. You hit him, you hit him, you hit him. Hey, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. Just wait. Go ahead and reload. Okay, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. He's hanging low. Make that shot count, he's done. Make that shot count. Make it count. Make it count, you got time. Don't ruin the meat, just make it count. Let me get him in that video. God, that's fucking good. He looks fucking good.
Holy smokes. <laughs> Probably the bigger herd buck. There's two out here. We got on him this morning, or a smaller one, the second one this morning, within about 300 yards. Almost shot him. Thankfully, I didn't because we weren't sure if he was massive or not. Uh, I mean, we were on him all day long. I mean, he was bouncing around from quarter to quarter. It seemed like, but kind of staying in that center, center point of bunch. Field's massive. We came at him from all four directions, different times throughout the day. Yeah, the whole day. The truck is. It's got to be at least 1,500, 2,000 yards. I mean, we walked a long ways to get him. Yeah, far enough. And walked then, a long uh, ways to get him. And... I mean, sum it all up, he ended up running right in front of us. I shot him, thought I sucked. Turns out he's just tough as hell. Took the flies took, are enjoying it. There. Took at least three. No, I think that's cool. That's cool New Mexico antelope pup for sure. All right, give us, give us a horn. Yeah. Can't wait to ask Molly if he knows good tax terms. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be funny. So Garrett was our guide, his brother Colin, we ended up hitting him up, calling him out, and uh, he ended up coming over with the flatbed. We ended up loading Will's goat up, take a few pictures, kind of wrap things up there. And we've got about an hour and a half to two hours of daylight left. So my initial plan was to drive around and try to put one to bed. So we've got about an hour and a half to two hours of daylight left and hunting all day long and making several different spot stalks on these antelope. I mean, we probably went about four or five miles on the hoof and I was pretty exhausted. So I wanted to kind of put one to bed this evening, wake up the next morning and shoot him. But this one was a really, really nice buck. We ended up pulling up to one of the last places that we had checked and we, we get up to the Milo and all of a sudden they catch us and we're like, doggone it, man, they found us. We gotta figure out what's going on. We saw he was a really nice buck, didn't really wanna pass the opportunity up. So we're like, okay, we're kinda of scrambling around trying to figure out if we wanna take this buck or not. We end up deciding that we wanna take the buck. We try to get steady on him a few different times, but he just kinda of keeps bolting. So we chase him over from probably three different quarters. He keeps going from one to the next. This land all wraps up to around a thousand acres on where I killed my buck at. So we end up pulling up in one of these windmill roads and we were finally able to, after chasing him for about 30 minutes, we were finally able to put a decent shot on him. We'll show you guys how that went down. A definite shooter. Hang on, no, you, he's paused, he's paused. That's too far at this point. Good. But here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, here we go, there we go. Oh, hoo -hoo! yes! Woo! 
Talking about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yo, man, what, what a stellar shot! What a stellar shot! That was beautiful. Yeah, he saw oh, that's beautiful. Pans. I got it. Perfect. Turn footage. around. Perfect yeah. footage. That's what I'm talking that's about, dude. Yeah. yeah, he dropped holy like a sack of potatoes. Holy shit, boys! Oh, I love it. Sorry, that got a little wet. Dude, that was good. I was holding on. I was crawled out the back of the truck like it. that was a oh place to be, god. though, wasn't it? Yeah, that was perfect. Oh my god, that was hectic and beautiful. Holy smokes, You're that was fucking hitty. Fourteen psi. Yes, let's. Nice. Pull. We only took out two fences in the process, but it's fine. It's done. Good footage. Oh, good I got one. it great. I got beautiful. it beautiful. <laughs> Between your driving, his shooting, my video, and we had to put a lot to fire to make that happen. To, like chasing him and then getting next to him and letting him stop. Yeah, he lacks yeah, nothing. Pretty doggone good. Oh, that he jacks me up. <laughs> yeah. I heard that one. I yeah, that one. That was dope. Done hey, good it. job holding on. I was going pretty fast. Yeah. 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 That'll work. Right on. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Tag out. Oh, and you hit him beautifully. <laughs> what do you that's think, a, man? That's a 75 breeze. God, that felt good, man. I, I mean, it just took forever just to kind of get on. Oh, and you I was kept like, stopping and quick. going and stopping and going. I was like, I, but yeah, you could see he was ready to slow down and give it a quick pause. And I mean, a, I know. a two second pause. That's you know, all that's that it was. We left this morning. Is that the buck we left on? Oh, we fine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, dude, he's cool. I am happy with that. I that mean, that's cool. bigger than that's bigger than the other one. Just a little bit, yeah. Day. That's, that's a we started shot. off slow and we ended so strong. I mean, that is it. Hit, dude. We'll just bat him. Just yeah. kidding. We'll bat him yeah. permanently. Yeah, yeah seriously. Yeah. Fucking permanent. <laughs> and talk about it. Just a fucking shot. I kept. I, I had 14 psi. <laughs> yeah. We worked for it today too, though. He can. This one came a lot easier, but like the whole day added up. Yeah. We beat feet and everything. Yeah, after all that trucking. Oh my gosh. That's a gorgeous shot. <laughs> yeah, perfect. It makes it hard to read, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Now, we carried it out. <laughs> it's done. Oh, uh, yeah. Well guys, that wraps it up for our 2023 New Mexico antelope hunt. We had super fun. Colin and Garrett were awesome guides. They knew exactly where to put us. I wanted to stay longer, but they were so good at what they did. They were able to put us on two nice antelope in uh, one day. We were able to harvest both of them in one day. So we had a great time going. I'm sure we'll be going again next year. We just had super, super fun. So that wraps it up for this antelope hunt, whitetail season. We've got a couple good bucks that we're on. We're getting ready to head dive into that. It's about four weeks away. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. They're all bucks. Boy, that one in the middle is wide. Is he wide or is that his ears? Oh, oh shit, there's a good one right Yeah, he's, he's got some ass to him. He doesn't look like he's... Oh, yeah, that's a good one.